Extra minutes. So are you getting smarts from you or his dad? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Carol but Davis is moving boy, house to help look after a new grandson. What were they like? Were they, were they She's no, Ian's no, proud mum. And that's his very first doctor's badge. Dr Ian Davis. Dr Ian Davis. Mum wasn't proud. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, mum was very proud. As, as he got it, I said thank you. He's got a certain laugh and when he laughs that way, I know it's something's been naughty, some naughty's been said. We, in the, in the months ahead, you could be grateful for that. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I love it even now, Ray. Um, it, it, it's my boys. But Carol and Ian's younger brother, Brad, know exactly what's ahead of them. I don't cry in front of him because it makes him feel bad. Yes. And for me to be strong, with me being strong, he'll, be able, he'll know yes. I'll be able to cope. And I've, all, I've said to him, when, when the time comes, I will, I will cope. He, he says that one of the things that upsets him is not the illness, but the fact that he may be a burden to you. No, um, he's, he, he can never be a burden. No child can be a burden, right? These days, Ian and Mel take life one day at a time. That's all they can do until their baby Archie arrives. I'm now coming up to my third year anniversary with this disease and I never thought back when I first um, um, learnt about my, my illness that I'd be above the average, which is normally 27 months, and I never thought, thought, thought that we'd be here. What's the crystal ball tell you then? Are we three of us going to be having this conversation hopefully in a year's time? I hope so, right? As I said, um, I'm, I'm over the average um, and I hope to be above average for a while. Um, so, so I'll say yes. <laughs>